Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and today I am going to share with you about the scripture about the heavens being shaken. Now, in Psalms 112, verse 6, it says, Surely he will never be shaken. But let me go back to the scriptures. In the Bible, it says that once more God will shake the heavens and the earth. And I used to think that that meant that something scary was going to happen to me. That God was going to uh, shake the heavens and the earth and earthquakes and volcanoes and tornadoes and all that kind of bad stuff was going to happen to me. <clears throat> but the more I got to know who God was and to understand God, the more I began to realize God began to show me that that wasn't what that scripture was talking about. So let me read the scripture here. It says in Psalms 112, it says, Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. And that doesn't mean who's like, ooh, afraid, fears. But that means who respects, who knows the Lord, who, who uh, is a child of God. It says, whose delight greatly in his commandments. And that means his, uh, his word. Because we're not under commandments right now. We're not led by the commandments. We're led by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> his descendants will be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house. That's an awesome scripture. And his righteousness endures forever. Because we are made righteous because of the blood of Jesus. Because of what Jesus did. And then it says, Unto the upright there shall arise a light in the darkness. And that's what happen, is happening now. The darker the world gets, the brighter our light shines. We should not be hiding in caves, being fearful. We, instead, we should be shining brighter and brighter and walking more and more in the power and presence of God. And then it goes on to say, He, uh, he is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretions. Surely he will not be shaken. And that's the verse I wanted to get to. Surely he shall not be shaken. Uh, the righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He will not be afraid until he sees his desires upon the enemy. So, going back to the original scripture, which says that once more God will shake the heavens and the earth. What God is talking about when he says that is that he is going to shake the heavens and the earth to remove principalities, powers, mights, and dominions, and rulers, and strongholds, and strongmen from their place of ruling authority and dominion on the earth. He is going to shake them out. It's like taking a box of tricks and dumping it out, shaking out all, of, or a bag of M&Ms and shaking out all the red and the green M&Ms and saving the brown and the blue and the orange for yourself. What he's doing is he's separating, he's shaking out the rulers that are illegally ruling on the earth so that we, through the kingdom of God, can can. Uh, use our authority and our dominion to rule over them like we're supposed to be. Because now is the time when God's kids should be standing up and ruling and reigning with authority and dominion on this earth and bringing everything into obedience to the accomplished word, what was accomplished on the cross, Ephesians 3. So today I just wanted to share that with you, that that uh, scriptures with you on the shaking and that it's a good thing and we should not be in fear we should be walking in God's supernatural presence and power and my goal is to teach you how to walk in God's supernatural peace presence and power and I'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day have a blessed day